Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video episode on Forgotten Weapons. We don't normally get into muzzle-loading black powder firearms, but today we've got one that we're taking a look at that is just too cool to pass up. This is called a Lorenzoni. It is a seven-shot repeating flintlock. So what, what's going on here? You have a magazine of seven balls. Let's see. No, the powder's in the bottom. Um, a, a charge of powder in here, large, seven, seven shots worth of powder. And you can load seven balls in, almost like a BB gun. You know, place them in there and they roll around a bit. Close this. So the way this works, you tip the pistol down so the powder and ball are, are facing down towards the barrel and run this lever around. And it first loads a charge of powder into that. And then as you go farther, it loads a ball into this central cylinder. And then it closes the frizzen and recocks the hammer. When you roll it back, it drops the ball into the barrel. Then it drops the powder into the barrel. And it's ready to fire. And you fire it. And now, now you fired it, and you have six more rounds still loaded inside the mechanism. So you tilt it down again, run the lever down, back up, and you're ready to fire again. And it can do this in theory seven times. Um, the, you might be wondering, you're, you have a load of black powder here and it's firing off. Um, the mechanism on the cylinder is so finely machined that it, it's actually sealed your magazine powder from your charge powder. These are extremely rare, uh, obviously. And just a real incredible piece of, of weapons artwork. So we can take the barrel off. This is just threaded on. Smooth bar. And from here, you can really see the mechanism working. You have the, uh, the chamber with the slot is for your powder. Let's pull out a flashlight here. So if this isn't the coolest flintlock you've ever seen, then uh, you've seen a lot more flintlocks than I have. This is fantastic. There we go. We have our barrel back on. I'm going to wipe this back down and put it back in the box. Thanks for watching. Check out Forgotten Weapons for more interesting and unusual firearms.